Good morning. Looking at uh, the Bible Society's Book of Lent from a couple of years ago, and we're already at week two, day eight. So that's a whole week gone by. Where's it gone? Hope you're well. So today looks at the Good Samaritan in Luke chapter 10, verses 25 to 37. And when you've read it, and it's a very familiar story, but read it again just to see what jumps out at you today. Who asks the question, who is my neighbour? Is an important, very timeless question. And as I ask it, I myself and the writer of this, this thought has longs for a very comfortable answer. Do you know there's a saying that says, if you don't like the answer, don't ask the question. So for my neighbour, whoa, I'd like to have the person who I find the easiest to love, a person most like me. But that's not what emerges in Jesus' radical story, is it? The one who helped the victim is a real surprise. It's not the priest. It's not the Levite. Those of the religious order who play roles in community worship of God, the ones you expect to do as God required, to do justice, to love kindness and to walk humbly with God, as Micah tells us. Instead, the one considered religiously impure and an enemy to the Jews, a Samaritan, stops. That Samaritan was moved with pity and able to see the human need of the other. At a personal cost to himself, he responded with relief, lowering himself onto the dirty road, tending to the bloody wounds, pouring out his hard-earned oil and wine and giving up his clothes for bandages. But the story then doesn't end here. The Samaritan moves beyond giving relief to caring for the victim's full recovery. The needs of tomorrow, not just today. Essentially, he offers his innkeeper a blank cheque to ensure that the victim gets the recuperation and restoration that he needs. Martin Luther Jr. said, on the one hand, we are called to play the Good Samaritan on life's roadside. But that will only be an initial act. One day, we must come to see that the whole Jericho Road must come to see and be transformed so that the men and women will not be constantly beaten and robbed as they make their journey on life's highway. So in Jesus' story, the neighbour includes our enemy and love is dirty, uncomfortable, costly, but ultimately transformative. Just really, does Jesus want us? Does he really expect us to love in such a radical way? And especially now when we're thinking of these corridors of safety within the Ukraine. And it's not corridors that we need, like the road to Jericho. It needs to be the whole road so that people are safe again to walk the roads. It's surprising how easily we can, within some Bible passages, superimpose onto present-day situations. Because, as we start to realise, nothing much has changed, has it? And so we pray for all those good Samaritans that their example will cause us, whoever we might be, pause to stop and think and review and change. Amen.